Good morning, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew. Daily events worldwide. We are on September 21st, 2019. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. Welcome to another Daily Dew. Starting out here looking at our sun, as we do have an earth-facing coronal hole, but this is the only footage that I can get right now. We had a small sunspot form there. You can see just below the equatorial plane on our sun. That little little tiny sunspot not much life to it but we do have a coronal hole in facing earth facing so we will expect an increase in our solar wind speeds right now they're steady at 350 kilometers in a, a second lots of plasma dancing around our our uh, heliosphere as well very cool. Let's get to the earthquakes here. Last 24 hours as we just most recently had a 5.6 here in Duras, Albania at a 12 kilometer depth. And there was just another earthquake, another 5.1 being recorded. So busy 24 hours for earthquakes and rare Albania 5.6 quake. Let's get to the most deepest there is a 4.6. 350 kilometer depth. And throughout the Philippines. 5.0 ranging to 4.6. 4.8. here in Mongolia. That's a rare quake as well. And Tajikistan. Russia and Tajikistan. So rare quakes in the Northern Hemisphere, the Asia Plate, Russia, earthquakes increasing in Hawaii and as well Cascadia. Throughout South America here, 4.4 El Salvador. And throughout South America, Chile, 4.5, ranging to 4.1, down to Argentina. Let's look at the last seven days for earthquakes. As we're still watching a deep earthquake event right now. West side of the Ring of Fire throughout Philippines and Indonesia. Deep earthquakes moving all the way into Japan, Russia. and in the Tonga region. That's the last seven days for earthquakes. Don't forget to hit that like button, everybody. If you enjoy the content, please let me know in the, con in the comment section below. And I'll be sure to say hi back and please just let me know if you're still enjoying the content that I create for you. Overlooking the Pacific Disaster Center here, as we do have a situation here throughout Albania, and this is where the earthquake was, a 5.6 being recorded, but there was a pretty deep and very moisturous low pressure system that just went over the area. High pressure, low pressure convergence line, atmospheric compression earthquake possibly. That's the system that just went through there. So stormy conditions, flooding conditions throughout this region as they're gonna be expecting more storms in the coming days. As, yeah, downgraded tropical storm Dorian is on Ireland's doorstep. Looking across Africa as we had uh, Daytime evaporation rains, and now we've got flooding conditions right across the equator of Africa. Watch for a pretty large tropical storm to be forming off of the coast of Africa in the coming days as well. Storms throughout Spain and Italy. Overlooking the tropical storms. Hurricane Jerry 
is about to be ripped up by high pressure ridge thrown into the Atlantic Ocean no threat to mankind but then we've got tropical storm Lorena and Mario now they're going to be ripping up the west coast of Mexico and the United States in the coming days heading straight into the San Francisco Bay Area Lorena will be Very interesting times we live in, folks. Stay aware and prepared. Still a lot of fires throughout the Amazon. But things are about to change drastically across the Northern Hemisphere for sure. We're looking at the next seven days, or sorry, the next 10 days for snowfall across North America. We're gonna start out here, Wyoming. They've already received six centimeters of snow in the past few days. And as low pressure systems come from the North, Instead of from the Pacific, we're going to watch things change drastically, especially throughout parts of British Columbia and Alberta. Watch this. Five days. And ten days. Look at that. 47 centimeters of snow possibly being dropped in the foothills. And it looks like Calgary will see at least 10 centimeters of the white stuff. And that's in the next 10 days. And that's what I had just... People were asking yesterday, Yo, Mr. Weatherman, Mr. Dew, when's the snow coming? And I said about 9 days. And then look at this. 10-day forecast. It's going to be dropping at least 2 feet of snow throughout the Alberta foothills. Calgary receiving at least 10 centimeters of snow. And we are only in fall. Speaking of which, happy fall to everyone. It's going to be a short fall season, I do believe. We're already looking at 40 centimeters of snow falling in the Sierra and Nevada mountains. Let's get to the tropical storms here. Wanted to have a look at Hurricane Lorena as it's been drenching the Mexico coastline, heading up in through the Mexico and Baja area. But still a very intense storm. Crazy flooding and heavy wind conditions the last few days. Don't forget to check out the video that I had released in Jalisco, Mexico, as they were affected massively by this storm. I wanted to show you here as well, throughout Manitoba, they're actually under a flood alert right now as a huge low pressure system came across the central plains of the United States and blew up into Manitoba and Ontario. And look at that. That is a whole lot of rain, flooding conditions throughout Manitoba, northwestern Ontario. Let's get to the five day forecast brought to you by Meteor Earth, Medio Mike. Overlooking the West Pacific right now as Tropical Storm Tapa still in the South China Sea and will be heading towards Korea in the coming days. Korea and Japan and then as it heads into the Sea of Osk in Russia on its way to Kamchatka. And then you can see five-day forecast, it will be a huge low-pressure center over the Aleutian Islands. And here's the situation throughout Canada. Low-pressure system coming from the north. Winds changing drastically. North winds coming in cold and fast. Five-day forecast, no snow. Ten-day forecast, at least 10 centimeters of snow in Calgary. Higher elevations receiving probably two feet of snow across the United States. Watch for thunderstorm conditions straight from Mexico to the Atlantic provinces of Canada as Lorena goes to landfall. No major tropical storms to talk about right now affecting humanity except Lorena and Mario. Jerry being ripped apart by a high-pressure ridge and thrown into the Atlantic. 
area of interest to follow in the coming days here. That could be a significant storm. Stay aware and prepared. Stay tuned to Morning Dew. Five day forecast here. You can see the low pressure center north of Ireland. That is remnants of Tropical Storm Dorian, whatever's left of her. Overlooking Russia, they're already receiving heavy amounts of snow, northern regions, Siberia, as this huge low pressure center spins across Russia. Overlooking northern hemisphere, things are really starting to turn into a winter pattern. And then just look at this beast in the southern hemisphere. Our southern hemisphere has gone beast mode with this huge low pressure center. We have a split polar vortex right now. Be sure to check out that video as well. I released that last week and it is still split, changing things drastically in the southern hemisphere. Thanks for watching today. This has been Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your morning dew. Thanks for watching today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button. Share with your friends and family from around the world. Bye-bye.